Just amazing colors. It's got that nice, you can see the nice tri-stripe down its back. What, uh, what do you like about this one? What's going on guys? Will from Royal Canadian Reptiles. A couple days ago we had Morgan from Mordex Ball Pythons come over to the facility and check out some animals. And we shot the top five animals that we have here in the collection uh, that Morgan picked. So let's get right into this. Um, Morgan was happy to have you guys over. Make sure you guys go give them a follow. And let's get right into this one. Hey guys, Will from Royal Canadian Reptiles. And we have Morgan from Mordex Ball Pythons. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Morgan's top five snakes here uh, from from our collection. So which one do you want to do number one? Uh, we'll start from number five and we'll work our way down. Okay, so for number five, probably the tri-stripe. Okay. So here we've got the banana tri-stripe. Tri tri Just amazing colors. It's got that nice, you can see the nice tri-stripe down its back. What uh, What do you like about this one? I like the freckles, the black freckles. The are banana always, freckles, yeah. Yep. It's always my favorite, and the stripe going down its back is always nice. Yep. Tri stripes are really nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a, such a cool animal, animal. Like super unique. Yeah. Uh, you don't see very many of these. I believe this is the only one. I actually got this from uh, from Sterling Nelson. He produced this animal, so uh, I was really happy to to be able to get this girl. Yeah, she's just gorgeous. just love the way that she's progressing. And I think the tri-stripe's got some uh, some secrets up its sleeve. I think there's going to be some cool stuff able to be done. Look at those sides. Just awesome. Awesome, yeah. Right? All right. Coming in at number four, we've got the Pastel Leopard Yellow Belly Double Het Puzzle Clown. And the puzzle is really influencing. The, the double hets are really fighting with each other. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really cool look. Super, super clean. What do you like about this one? I love the scattered pattern, how it's kind of like a blown up. Blown up patterns, like kind of crazy everywhere, the black. Well, that's typical puzzle stuff. They're always, yeah, uh, they're they're always more aggressive, little... yeah. So there you've got the uh, Pastel Yellow Belly Leopard Double Het Puzzle Clown. They're gorgeous, I love that. Super cool, right? Yeah. This is our breeder male, so hopefully he'll, uh, hopefully we'll see the actual visual puzzle clown combos double this year. Point, yeah. Yeah, we, we've got the double head girls that he's, uh, he's gonna be seeing this year, so. We're working our way up there. Working our way, it's a long shot. It's still a one in 16 chance, but when you, you know, as long as you have an at bat, I'm happy with that. Yeah. As long as you have a chance to make them, that's, yeah. that's what it's all about, Chances. right? <laughs> all right, number three. <laughs> I mean, I agree with this one. Uh, this is the Desert Ghost Pied. Gorgeous. Or Desert Ghost Pied male. Just so creamy, smooth, super bright. What is there really to say about that? It's just... Honestly, yeah, the creamy orange it all blends together is really nice. Ugh. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a gorgeous animal. Anything with pied is always nice, too. So. Absolutely. And, and if, you, if you can take the Desert Ghost Pied as your base and start to stack new genes into better. the pied, whatever... Whatever you put into pied, if you desert ghost it, it's just gonna be that much better, right? They're just, it's just gorgeous. If you use this as a base pied, I mean, the future is just insane. Awesome animal, yeah. Yeah, Love really, really cool. So that's the desert ghost pied. I picked this guy up from, uh, from Fireball Reptiles. Um, it was the nicest one that I saw that he had made, and as soon as I saw it, I just knew this was the one. So we ended up grabbing him and really happy with that. All right, on to number two. We've got my personal favorite, the Desert Ghost Clown. Uh, we, we produced this guy last year. He's nice and big, ready for the breeding rotation this year. Just a yeah. beautiful animal. Uh, you know, if you, again, like I said with the pied stuff, if you use this as your base, the, the clown stuff you're gonna make is Crazy. just unbelievable, right? The head stamp is. Isn't it cool? Yeah. yeah, let's see if I can get him to hold still for you. So if you. Zoom in there on his on his head. He's got just got that really cool head stamp. Super super clean. Awesome animal. Just super bright. And the stripe down his back is always. Yeah, the clown that clown has that nice stripe. Nice you know, clean stripe like the drip. 
Yeah, it's exactly. Nice. It's got the nice the teardrops, I guess, that yeah. they call them, that come off the sides. This one is just a spectacular example. I, I you know, yeah, it's just great. so nice. And then, no surprise here, number five is the Pastel Vanilla Chaos. We still don't really know what, how this gene works. From, from my experience, it certainly looks like a recessive or a very subtle codon, but it's just crazy patterned. Uh, I believe we're the only ones with this. Yeah. It's it's popped up in our collection, and what what yeah. what do you see in this? Like, what's your where do you see? I love the crazy, just the the pattern all over. It's just like it it's busy. It's like it never stops. It's yeah, which is nice it's chaotic, busy. right? Yeah, that's it's why busy pattern. that's why I called it the uh, the chaos. I know that name has been taken, but it's fine. <laughs> it, it, it just suits the it just suits the combo, right? It's just that suits this gene. Not a subtle snake. No, not at all. I couldn't believe it when these things came out. I was super uh, happy. So imagine? we're gonna we're gonna continue to play with this and see what uh, see what else we can do, and hopefully you know um, make some nicer stuff down the line. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, I'd like to get like leopard into this and spot nose, yeah. and I'm gonna put him into the clown stuff and Obviously, see. Uh, yeah, put him in with clown. See what we can do. Definitely. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go show show some love to Morgan at Mordex Ball Pythons. How can, they, uh, how can they get a hold of you? you have an Instagram? Yes, I have an Instagram at Mortis Ball Pythons and a Facebook at Mortis Ball Pythons. So go and check me out there. We do uh, snakes and uh, stuff like that. Guy Tiles. And, and guys, this is what it's all about. How old are you, Morgan? I'm 12. You're 12 years old. So it's like the new generation of Snake Keeper. You know, this is what the, this is what the hobby needs. We need this, like, this growth, having excitement from the younger generation coming into this. It's just... It's awesome to see. So make sure you guys go show her some love. More Dex Ball Pythons on Instagram.